Uh, Dan Lukovich, so I'm the former president of Creekside Mushrooms Incorporated. After I graduated, I started uh, making dumbbells, okay, which are a spacer that has two 4x4 four four blocks on each end to hold one tray, the top tray to the bottom tray. From that job, I think I became a forklift operator. Okay, And as I did that, the next job I went to was my maintenance, mm -hmm. taking care of the underground facility. At that point in time, I uh, got my miner's license to be a licensed mine form in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, <clears throat> after I got that, uh, another job opening came up uh, to run the afternoon division as a supervisor. So at that time, I was the youngest supervisor the company ever had. And from there, I went to uh, run the packaging department. Uh, I ran the packaging department in between, on nights too, as long, and also ran maintenance at night. Uh, from the packaging department, I went to HR and dealt with HR for quite a few years and ended up being vice president of HR. Uh, let's see, it was. 2003, we decided that it was no longer economic or we weren't competitive in the marketplace to keep Moonlight Mushrooms running, so my job was to close the farm down. So we put basically 1,200 people in the work at that time. What happened next was that we were having people coming to look to purchase the farm. So I kind of got this brainy idea that, you know, we know how to do it better than anybody else. Uh, let me find some partners and see if we can buy it because the price got to be so cheap that it was something that we could afford to, to purchase. So in uh, May of 2004, we ended up buying the farm and starting it off all over again. Creekside remains uh, pretty viable for quite a few years till about uh, 2009. And then we ran into another glitch with the market. Our competitors out of Canada and out east uh, we became pretty much uncompetitive. After I closed down Creekside Mushrooms, we kind of started up another business there at the farm, basically selling, at that time, it's called Phase 3 composting. And Phase 3 composting is that what we would do is manufacture mushroom medium for other mushroom growers in uh, Kenneth Square area, which is the mushroom capital of the world. And what that means is that we would uh, pasteurize the compost, spawn the compost, grow out the seeds inside the compost, deliver it to a customer, and in 15 days, they could start harvesting mushrooms. They wouldn't have to wait a 70-day cycle before they would start picking mushrooms. That business kind of flopped, too. Um, the growers out east couldn't deal with that type of technology. They weren't equipped. They, they had outdated mushroom houses uh, and weren't able to, to make a go of it. They didn't think it was cost prohibitive for them. So then uh, we said, okay, we had enough fun, and uh, they had other ideas for that facility, so I closed it down again in 2013, June. And I kind of uh, didn't do anything for about six weeks, I think it was. And then uh, someone asked me if I wanted to come here and help out for a while until I found somebody. So I've been here for the last two and a half years, which I enjoy. Uh, Mushroom Growing 101 starts with the raw materials you would see out in any farmer's field, normally hay. We would take those hay or those great big bells you see in a field, we take those bells and decompose them over a period of uh, 13 to 14 days. From that, we would take that uh, uh, what we call raw compost and pasteurize it. That next process takes five days. And from that five-day process where we uh, would take it out of a tunnel and add mushroom spawn to it, it will take another 13 days before mushrooms are growing. Then from that, we'll end up uh, bringing a layer of topsoil on the top of that tray from there, it will take another 15 days before we see a mushroom. So once the mushrooms start growing, we'll pick those mushrooms for three weeks. We'll get three what we call breaks. We'll get three breaks. Uh, the first break, you get bigger mushrooms. The second break are pretty much medium mushrooms. And the third break are a little bit smaller mushrooms. From there, we'll end up pack 
taking those mushrooms to our packaging facility and decide what grade or quality they are. Grade A mushrooms get put into overwrap packages that you see in the supermarket. Grade B product would go to a can or either would be placed into a can. Uh, once we would do either or, we would vacuum cool those, that product. Uh, then it goes into our what we call our holding coolers before it's ready for shipping. And normally we ship our mushrooms, the mushrooms were shipped within 24 hours and be at the supermarket the next day or the day after. Our underground facility is really the most interesting part about Creekside Mushrooms. Creekside Mushrooms is the only underground mushroom growing facility anywhere in the world. And it is the largest facility. We have approximately 2,000 acres above ground, 800 acres underground. And uh, you could drive underground and you would, the deepest part of the ground you would be is about 350 feet deep. Uh, the area that we used out of those 800 acres that wasn't used for conditioning the mine, which we kept at about 62 degrees and about 95% humidity, which was perfect for growing mushrooms because mushrooms didn't need sun, don't need sunlight. Secondly, uh, out of that 800 acres, we used probably about 100 acres. Uh, we had about 14 miles of roadway, and every area was divided in individual rooms to, to grow mushrooms. Uh, really pretty interesting. My name is Lori McCann. I work at the Human Resources Department at the County of Armstrong, and I work here with Dan Lukovich who came here in 2013. Um, he has a background in, uh, from working in the mushroom mines and coming here has been I think a little bit of a change for him but he's overcome the obstacles that he's had to face here and I think his uh, experience in the past and his flexibility is what has made him so successful here. He's a really nice fellow to work with. He's a fair boss. He uh, tries to take in everyone's point of view, and uh, he's just been a big asset to our department.